Hello everybody, how's it going? It's Treasure Town here, and today I'm going to be presenting on the top 7 uh, most valuable Roosevelt dime varieties, um, and you can find these potentially in your change, and I think it's definitely worth the less than 10 minutes that it'll take to watch the video so that you can educate yourself because some of these will allow you to buy a house. So I'll just, I'll just start. We have an honorable mention, um, pre-1964 Roosevelt dimes. So they have the same look as any other uh, regular dime that you see in circulation today, um, but they are silver. Um, the US government stopped making them with silver in them in 1964. Uh, and the way that you can tell that they're different is um, they have a silver edge compared with a more copper edge of all of the other uh, 1965 and on Roosevelt dimes. So definitely take these out um, if you find one. And I apologize for those of you who already know this, but um, the next is the 1949S key date dime. So it's the only real key date Roosevelt dime. It's not crazy relative to other key dates of series. So this is the top Roosevelt dime and it's only worth about six to $10, but that's ahead of the regular spot price of $1. Um, and in nice conditions, it can go up to $200, um, but definitely separate it from normal junk silver. So moving on to number six, um, we have the 1964D double die reverse. Uh, this is the only double die that we'll be seeing today, but um, it's a pretty clear clear photo here. Um, not all the examples are going to be that clear, but uh, there's some clear doubling. I'm using the word clear a lot. There's some pretty strong and evident doubling along the one dime um, in the bottom of the coin. And then if you look at the M here, there's doubling uh, really all over the back. So um, the value starts at about $20 for really circulated examples and can go up all the way um, into the 100 to 200 dollar range if you get a if you get a brilliant uncirculated uh, example so it's definitely worth checking all the backs of your 1964 dimes um, and you can tell that it's a denver instead of philadelphia because the mint mark for roosevelt dimes is located right here um, to the left of the main uh, flame of the flame so number five is the 1982p uh, no P um, dime basically I forget exactly the year that it started but um, by this time and I think it might be even 1982 the mint mark was on the obverse of the coin uh, instead of the reverse like I just showed you um, and it should have either a P or a D right above the date so I'm circling it right here it says P um, except for that there's an error in which they were made without the mint mark, and this is going to be a common theme for the valuable, uh, the valuable dimes. But you have to know which dates to look for. So um, it doesn't matter. Any 1982 dime with no mint mark is going to be the error, um, and it easily goes for above $200. So it's really quite a find if you can if you can get one of these. Um, slightly less than 200 if they're a pretty circulated example. Uh, which it very well can be, but it makes checking your change uh, worth a while if you can pluck one of these out. Um, and now uh, we have some of the very valuable, uh, where it gets exponentially larger. Uh, the 1983S proof, no S dime. So I have to explain, do a little bit of explaining here. Um, here's a 1983 dime. Um, it doesn't have the mint mark. It was made in San Francisco, so on the right, um, you can see that it's a 1983S uh, proof dime. So the proof is, uh, look at this reflective surface, um, even if it's super shiny, uh, a regular um, uncirculated example, the proof has a much different strike. Um, so if you find a 1983 proof coin, uh, proof dime, and it doesn't have a mint mark, you'll be looking at about $600, so definitely worth it. Um, 1970s the uh, the no s 
is the next one um, and the value increases to about a hundred dollars over up to seven hundred dollars um, now there's a notable difference you will likely find many 1970p dimes um, and at this point they didn't have the mint mark on the front of the coin so like you can see these really look the same in terms of where the mint mark is so how do you know if it's a p or s mint coin well it's the proof strike so this is like a really realistic uh what does a proof coin look like again it has the mirrored fields um and here's a proof coin without a mint mark and that's when you know that you have the valuable coin so if you flip back to number four um here it would have the mint mark p clearly um now you have to distinguish between a proof without the mint mark and a, a regular without the mint mark and this is worth just simply 10 cents so you can spend that definitely don't want to spend that uh, one of these and then the next two I'm gonna mostly go into their history so obviously remember the date it's 1968 uh, without the S mint mark so the same thing you have to distinguish between what's a proof without a mint mark and what's a regular uncirculated or circulated without the mint mark um, but if you have one of these, there were only a very limited number of these made. Um, they often go for above 20000 I saw there was an auction a couple of years ago, 2005, in which one of these sold for $32,200. So you can be buying yourself a nice new car with that or pay a couple years or a year at some of the uh, colleges. Um, I can't really think, you know, <laughs> I could sure use um, $30,000, but um, so that's that's the value of that coin. Um, and then the next one is going to be blow your mind. Um, only two of these have been found, 1975S, no S, dime. Um, same pattern. There's a lot of 1975P where there's no mint mark, but here the 1975 proof without a mint mark. And this is actually a bad example. They're not showing the proof field very well. Um, but this is what you, you'd you be looking for. There's two of these in existence. Um, you can buy a new house if you get one of these. Um, $349,600 is the most recent auction price. Um, you find these in a proof set. Uh, I can't imagine how bummed I would be if I had one of these in my hands and I thought it was a regular proof, so um, it's definitely worth it if you made it this far into the video. Um, now you know, 1975 proof with no estimate mark will be guaranteeing you um, a, a multi-six figure uh, windfall in terms of in terms of the money that you'll be getting. So that concludes this video. Those are all of the main Roosevelt dimes that you should be on the lookout for. There might be some corner case errors here and there, but these are these are the ones that are pretty well known. Um, so yeah, again, I, I thank you for making it this far. Um, like and comment and share the video with your friends, or maybe don't because uh, they might they might pick something out and you won't get it, but. Um, if you're not already subscribed, I'm going to be making a couple more of these videos. I try to, I use good audio, um, and I try to make high quality videos. So, so if you enjoyed that, um, again, I love this subscription. It makes me feel happy. It keeps you updated, uh, encourages me to make more videos. So, uh, with that, I'll, I'll say goodbye. Um, but videos every Monday and Thursday.